you can make big amounts of currency on League Start quite easily in Path of Exile Affliction, the league that is coming in uh, just a few days. This method for farming currency will be still good, nothing is nerfed, and it is one of the most reliable versions of Path of Exile that you can play. It, it's, it is one of the most reliable league mechanics for farming without zero investment, without anything on your mind, and with only 40 points in atlas talent tree okay so we do have some material in here just to give you a little bit of an example and a little bit of thought of how it should works and i'm gonna go and start it so you may ask me how the hell do you supposed to make so much currency without any investment at all and the answer is quite easy it's expedition bro it's logbooks and logbooks sell fast as hell and they are not cheap to uh, as well so what do I want to what do I want to show you first? This is a quick glimpse at Atlas main Atlas points that you want to have if you are want if you want to play with Expedition that you can then combine with many other different additional ways of farming currency in uh, Path of Exile Affliction. These ones are the most um yeah the most powerful ones and uh, the main ones that you need for expedition what we are going to be getting from expedition so we're there are there are many ways to farm expedition you can farm logbooks themselves so run logbooks but this is not the um, way this is not the method that i'm talking about here there's going to be a separate video about logbook farming by me uh, in some um, soon future but the main thing here is we're gonna be go we're gonna be going for these expedition logbooks that drop from any map tiers that drop uh, and they can be quite expensive even on lower tier maps which is one of the easiest and best parts about this farm as well you can see here here's our uh, here are our types of uh, expedition logbooks there are black scythe there are druids of broken circle order of the chalice and knights of the sun and um knights of the sun um, with two gens black scythe mercenaries are gonna be the most expensive ones how logbooks work they roll a bunch of them or a bunch of different uh, version a bunch of different um ways for you to use them uh, it's um, more than one of these present on each logbook so there's quite a high chance for you to get either black scythe or knights of the sun knights of the sun is usually the most profitable one uh, but black scythe um, is pretty good as well so logbooks are they have chance to drop from any expedition mob so you don't need to farm anything specific you don't need to kill any anyone specific the main thing that you're looking for uh, on the modifiers whenever you're blasting your expeditions is uh, on the for remnants to have an additional chance to drop logbooks and that's it that's everything that you need now when it comes to the talent points themselves as you can see here 42 is more than enough for you to start gaining this big amount of currency quite early on without any other investment in many other um, areas and stuff the uh, end expedition is very very cool because you can skip uh, some of it parts because it doesn't really give you anything so just like this ancient decay and uh, here some additional expedition uh, nodes that are just quite useless you don't need to get them in order to maximize your profits and that's a cool part of this um of this league mechanic and investment in it in terms of your atlas points okay so we are taking expedition chance here if you want to uh, and um, by the way you you can farm this method without any scarabs without any crafts on your uh, map device without anything so if you want to do just that then you definitely want to have your chance to contain expedition encounter you want to go for um, remnants in your maps have a chance to have additional suffixes additional remnants as well then increased explosive radius and number of explosives it's just so good to play with this 
uh, talent here. Then you're going for Tujin and uh, Danig expedition types. So you don't really want Gwenin and you don't really want Rog. You can go for Rog, but that uh, requires more experience if you want to craft items and then sell items that are well crafted. Then by any means go for Rog. Uh, but the easiest ones are Danig that sells uh, expedition logbooks and uh, just in general his currency is the main uh, is the main one and you can trade it for any other one and Tujin that um, then as leftovers you can get just raw currency from and now the main point the main talent uh, talent um, segment here is of course buried knowledge with some talents before it with additional chance to contain expedition encounter 50% increased quantity of expedition logbooks dropped by runic monsters in your maps and your maps contain increased number of runic monster markers and that's it that's it that's that's basically it when it comes to this um this uh, mechanic what you want to have if you are not using any any scarabs and any other um chances to spawn expedition because you can't have more than one expedition on your map so if you already have high chance here you don't need any scarabs and stuff if you already have scarab then ignore these these points uh, all points that give you chance to contain an expedition encounter if you're using if you're using even uh, the low um, tier of scarabs you don't need any other chance to contain expedition encounter and uh, what do you want to have if you are going for this chance is definitely to block most of the other mechanics that you're not gonna use that you're not gonna maximize with your particular tree because it will ramp the uh, chance to contain expedition and you can use a stream of consciousness if you are again not using any uh, fragments um, be it uh, any quantity ones or maybe other scarabs as well if you are not using them anyways then this one will increase your chance to spawn expedition quite drastically um, yeah, and that's it. Now you can farm uh, logbooks that cost nearly, uh, at least for the neg for the uh, past two leagues in a row, or and even more. Uh, the Danig ones, uh, Danig uh, expedition logbooks, uh, costed something close to 30, 35, sometimes 40. Chaos and two gens, something closer to 25, 22 chaos each and they drop quite often so it's going to be a very steady income increase for you uh, it's not you can drop m multiple of them per map you can you can drop zero but it's more of uh, like every two to three map you're definitely gonna drop one or two of them so it's gonna be steady it's and you're gonna have uh, quite a lot of them uh, then Gwenin and Rog uh, they are way cheaper especially Gwenin ones but again you are somewhat protected against bad luck with uh, expedition logbooks having a, a bunch of different choices on them uh, and then uh, with the your leftovers you have some uh, artifacts that you can spend and they're gonna be either two gens or danix that you can then convert to two gens and with two gen you're just getting some raw currency you're just haggling you're trading with the npc there can be divines there can be chaoses there can be um stack decks uh some good um j some good uh, skill gems support gems may maybe something like that quality one um, yeah, and this is basically the expedition uh, 101 if you want you and yes Now I want to emphasize this a bit more you are spending Such a tiny amount of atlas talent tree points and you are so close to all the good points if you want to if you want to specialize in any of the um, influences in terms of higher map tiers if you want to get more map drops if you want to get to go for uh, additional um, destructive play for maven or anything like that and you can combine your expedition with either legion that is very very close to it or with some strong boxes as well that are quite close as well and if you don't want to um, just wait uh, as much for legions or you just don't like the mechanics strong boxes are very fast quite efficient you can go spec for additional um, for additional shrines as well they are quite close in here the thing that is going to be 
On the other side, though, is um, the ultimatum modifiers. And ultimatum is going to be provided in this patch to us. It's going is going to make a comeback in this um, in this 3.23 patch. So it can be a big money maker, but you still can use your cryptic gateway and get some ultimatum talents as well, depending on your preferences and how the league goes. But the expedition is a reliable way for you to farm currency early on without any investments. Whenever you've just hit your level 68, 66, you've got into the maps, go for expedition quite early, just ignore many of other talents that will not give you as much of a um, direct input of currency, f of currency towards your character and you're gonna be good, you're gonna be um, yeah, bathing in logbooks and you're gonna be bathing in currency and then you may want to upgrade your um, you may want to upgrade your uh, strategy in and include maybe some additional quantity of items, some additional mechanics like Delirium that you can play on top and farm on top of this thing, again Legions. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. It doesn't really matter what map are you farming. Uh, the, the only thing is that if the map is very, very tight and close, like Toxic Sewer, then it may be a bit iffy with how the expedition works and with the amounts of runic monsters that you get. But otherwise, you are more than fine to farm this on any type of map on, uh, with any divination card and it will work more than fine. Um, yeah, and but we're gonna talk about logbook farming in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good time uh, I hope that I've sh that I've shown you everything. Bye